so he freaked out and he like took his shirt off and started running around the hotel. Like his, <laughs> he was, and then he started like picking me up and like tickling me and they were so mad. What's up guys, Nikki Novak here in the Young Hollywood studio with the Hunger Games star, Amanda Stenberg. Hit the 17, the girl on fire! What did you say to your sister when you volunteered at the reaping? I told her that I would try to win for her. And try you will. Do you love hearing that? <laughs> Hunger yeah. Games star? It's pretty exciting, I can't believe it. Because you were a fan of the books, weren't you? Before I was. I you was auditioned. a huge fan. I'd read the books at least four times before I even auditioned. And so how many, of you, how many times have you read them now? I've read them maybe six times, something like that. Oh my god! Yeah. So you know them verbatim? Yes, I know them very well. <laughs> so the character Rue, when you first read the book, did you ever imagine that you would end up being Rue? You know, when I first read them, I didn't at all. I mean, I was just so immersed in the story. And then I heard they were making a movie, and I was just another fan thinking, oh my god, I can't wait to see it when it comes <laughs> out. And then I, um, I thought, and I thought, Hmm, Rue, she seems kind of like me. So I called my agent and I asked repeatedly for an audition and I got my sides and worked really hard on them. And then I auditioned and it went really well and I got a call back. I heard that you auditioned um, with twigs. You put twigs and you rolled around in the dirt. <laughs> yeah, I did, I, I did. I, I, um, my mom took some of my khakis and a t-shirt and rolled them in the backyard so they had grass stains and dirt all over them. And then uh, put twigs in my hair and leaves and. I look like I've been in the woods for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and then I heard you had something in your pockets. Like I um, did. I had I had a rock that I thought Rue would have, like a special little rock. And then also I had a little wreath of flowers that I had made that I thought Rue would probably have made, um, maybe from District 11, from where she is. So you look adorable. You look gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. And you walked in, and I heard that you're wearing who? Oh, Burberry. <laughs> I mean, I can only dream of wearing Burberry, and how old are you? <laughs> I'm 13. Are you into fashion? Are you really? I'm very into fashion. I love fashion. So did you pick this out? Yes, I did. You did? Yeah. And I love your gold shoes oh, and well, your gold thank bracelets. You. <laughs> so what are, your, what are some of your favorite trends? My favorite trends, well, I love lace and anything kind of vintagey or kind of retro. I love that. So do you like this? I love that. I love what you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. She approves. <laughs> Miss Burberry wear approves. So I had... We had Dio in here, <laughs> and he called you out a little bit. We asked him about <laughs> pranks on set, and he said you were the biggest prankster. Like, you had to stay on your toes. One. They formed like a little crew. They had a symbol. So a when symbol they, so when they, prank? Yes, yeah, so when what they pulled the a prank, they're like, they, they had like a little J, like a little Jackie <laughs> and Rue symbol. And so like when they pulled a the prank, you'd see like a little post-it note, so you'd know. Oh, well, I might have, <laughs> might have pulled a few pranks here and there. So what was one of your, like what were one of your, what was one of your favorites? One of my favorites was probably, well, there was one that was kind of ongoing. So we called Alexander Ludwig, who plays Cato, and we pretended, Jackie Emerson and I, who plays Foxface, we pretended to be like these high school girls or who were stalking them and knew what hotel they were staying at, what room they were in, <laughs> because we actually knew. So You had all the so, info, the juicy yeah, details. Yeah, so, um, so it went on for a long time, and we left little notes around the hotel saying, I love you, Xander, and stuff like that. And so um, he was kind of freaked out, and he went and went to us, and he was like, guys, I don't know what's happening. Like, there's some girls stalking me, and, and so he probably loved it. He was all probably bragging about yeah. it. Yeah. So finally, uh, we told him that it was us, and he freaked out. And it was also uh, Jack Wade who plays Marvel. Uh, we were also kind of pulling the the prank on him too. So he freaked out, and he like took his shirt off and started running around the hotel, like. His, he was, and then he started like picking me up and like tickling me, and they were so mad, and it was hilarious. So you guys had a lot of fun shooting. We had so much fun. Yeah, you wouldn't think that on the set of The Hunger Games, but in that, since the story was so brutal, you wouldn't think that we would be spending our time joking around most of the time. Well, we have a little present for you. <laughs> Don't wear it with this dress. <laughs> <laughs> Thank but you. But on your casual days. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, she actually, it, could, it, it could rocks work. with that dress. It kind of the mixture of the two really works. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. You. You're adorable, and we just loved seeing you in the movie. Thank you. Thanks.